next question is from 35 Sabrina. Is unilateral training for a period of time an ideal way to fix any aches that come from lifting? Potentially. It's, yeah. I, I don't know if it would be the ideal way, but it's generally It'll speaking. highlight it, yeah. I was going to say, generally speaking, it's an excellent way to alleviate, to, to correct imbalances and fix issues that may be causing you pain. Now, the reason why I say general is because if you're the average person, and you don't know how to do like a self-assessment and you don't have, let's say, the funds to hire a professional who can really you know, identify what's going on. This is an, a relatively easy way where probably 75% of the time you'll be able to solve your problem, which is a big, that's, that's, that's a big number where my knee hurts, my hip hurts, my shoulder hurts. Let me train unilaterally. By, by the way, we're going to get more in depth with this because it's not just training unilaterally. You also have to train unilaterally in a way to where you're, you have mirror form on either side. That's the key. Like right arm looks exactly like left arm. So you have to watch yourself in the mirror uh, when you're doing this. But this will highlight issues because especially when you're doing bilateral stuff and especially with a barbell or a machine. Yeah. It'll it's, mask a lot of dude, uh, compensations that are occurring. You, you don't even know. You, yeah. you won't even notice that you're pushing more with one side or one side is uh, compensating for the other until you go one arm at a time or one leg at a time. And then it really highlights those issues for you, balances you out, makes you feel, you know. A well, I think better. that's the most important part of the unilateral training. It doesn't do much for you if you just keep going through the motions. The idea when you do the unilateral training is you're really comparing your left to your right. Mm -hmm. and, and it will tell you a lot. If you, for example, let's say you've been deadlifting forever and you're your left hip is always hurting like crazy. And you can't figure out why, because when you watch your videos of your deadlift, that doesn't look like there's anything really wrong that you can see with your eye. And then you go and you do single leg deadlifts and one side, you have all the balance and stability. You can toe touch all day long. Mm -hmm. The other side, you're all falling over all over the place and rotating you're, out of you're, control. Yeah, your form breaks down doing it. It's like, Oh, you obviously have an issue with stability, strength and control on one side versus the other. Now you go put the work in, at, you know, you do the 90-90s, you do the stability work, you do the strength work, you go good deep, good full range of motion work, and then now you try and catch that left side up to the right side and then go back. If you just do unilateral, there's nothing magical about unilateral training that all of a sudden fixes those aches or pains. It's, it's to help you get closer to identifying where the breakdown is in your body so you can go then go do the work. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, as complicated as like, oh, there's an imbalance in this joint and abduction here and uh, it's literally like wow my my right knee goes in this way my left knee yeah. goes that way my left knee my left left side feels stronger let me copy that with my right so you don't even have to know much for this to can be I, can i just control my body and have it yeah. do what i want it to do right yeah, like as simple as that like you don't have to overcomplicate it, um, but you do have to notice like where it's bringing you out of balance, like well, where things are kind of pulling you left, right, rotationally, yep. uh, and, and be very cognizant of what's happening and slow way down and use less weight. Well, listen, this is why we created like a, a program like Prime Pro. This would complement. So, okay, so map symmetry, we have the unilateral work in there. Ideally, you have Prime Pro also to complement these types of things too. It doesn't mean that you have to have it. You can go do all the research and figure it out yourself or try and figure out what does this mean. But if you were to do unilateral work and see a discrepancy in one side, let's say like I was talking about the stability on the left side, you would do all the work in the MAPS Prime Pro on the hips. You do those exercises that we recommend in there, that's going to benefit that and then work on getting stronger. So do those exercises, work on getting stronger on each side, watch watch them count, catch up and balance out. Yeah, like, and one thing idea. to add here is that there's this belief that joint pain comes from uh, like, oh, it's it's uh, overuse. You'll hear that a lot, like, oh, it's overuse. Weakness. or Yeah, but the way that your joints, uh, the, the way that we evolve, the way that our joints work is if they work the way that they're supposed to, you will be pain free and they will move very well. Um, besides in acute injury, meaning you fall down, you bump yourself, you hit yourself. Besides that, right? This kind of chronic pain that you develop, it's because the joint is moving in a way that is suboptimal. And what happens over time is that suboptimal movement starts to wear the joint in ways that is not supposed to be worn. And then this is when you start to develop issues. So it's like, you know, I've used this example before. It's like a, a sliding door on a track. 
if it's perfectly balanced on the track and lubed, it's going to slide back and forth, no problem. If it's off just a little bit, it'll start to wear one side of the track. And you might not notice one or two times, but over you know a month or whatever, oh man, the track isn't looking good. It looks all chewed up. We got to replace the track. So why am I saying this? Because if you have chronic pain, there's a root cause to that chronic pain. And if you fix that, you tend to fix the pain and it's versus going to get surgery or looking at the joint and saying, Oh, I have a, something's wrong with my knee. No, right. no, it's not your knee. It's your movement. Something's wrong with your movement. 